you guys welcome back to my channel today I am finally back to do a multi looks video today I'm gonna do two looks with the Colourpop lemon cello palette and the shadow sticks that also came out in the same collection as this palette I'm super excited because I literally haven't done any sort of makeup more than a little bit of highlighter smeared on my eyes in nearly a month and I'm realizing right now that my hair is a wreck and I don't know how to film anymore maybe I don't know however there's another reason that I'm excited today and that is because I can finally show you guys we have new merch here for the channel I'm wearing it right now check it out oh shit look what we got this new juicy nude design is now available you can find it below this video in a little carousel and if the carousel doesn't show up for you I'll also link it in the description this design is very, very special to me because, first of all, you guys asked for Juicy Nude merch when I released the Barbara merch, and I was like, oh, duh, what a great idea. So I was excited to get something out there, but also because this was hand-drawn by a very good friend of mine, Anand Virk. I'm going to put his picture up here. I'm going to put all the links to his art down below. He draws the cutest shit, and, like, he's, like, the cutest human, and he's, like, one of my favorite people in the whole wide world. So the fact that he made this for me for my channel, and you guys can to wear it on like actual real life hoodies and stuff makes me so happy like so happy every time I put this thing on I've had it for a couple weeks now I just haven't really showed you guys I'm like huh well this is a good time I really like this like I really genuinely am so stoked on it I made it available as a zip up hoodie this time that's what I'm wearing here I'll show you a couple of little clips of that but it's also still available as a pullover hoodie I made a long sleeve tee a short sleeve tee and a gym tank top if you want that figure that might be good for summer I also adjusted some of the pricing on the hoodie so it's a few dollars cheaper this time I tried to make it a little lower this time just to make it a slightly more affordable for you guys as always if you purchase anything thank you so much like thank you so so much the fact that any of you want to ever buy anything from me is absolutely unbelievable and and I am grateful for literally every single item and every single time you guys watch my videos quite frankly and if you do buy something when you get it please show me a picture even if you don't want me to like post it on social media like let me know and I won't but I'll repost it if you want me to but let me know so I can say thank you and also see it on your cute little self that's enough rambling um don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already don't forget to leave a like on this video because it's very helpful and let's just get into the first look with this ColourPop Lemoncello collection <laughs> For the first look, I'm thinking combining the warm browns and a pop of this lovely, lovely corn. I guess it's cornflower. You know what? I always say like names of types of colors and I realize mostly I'm full of shit. But the name of the color is La Festa and it's kind of a cornflower blue in my opinion. I'm gonna grab my beach number six and I'm gonna start by going into the shade Tuscan Fun. And I'm gonna start putting that through my crease area. I'm gonna bring that right above the crease and start blending it up toward the brow. I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna, I, you know what? I shouldn't speak too soon, but I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna do any sort of like a cut crease kind of a deal here. So I'm just gonna like make a nice soft definition through my crease area and then blend it out with a clean brush so it's nice and diffused but I also kind of like want to bring it up high because let's be real a bitch is getting older and I need all the lifts that I can get so I'm just gonna grab a clean brush and blend the edge of that out the more I'm sitting here looking at this palette the more I'm impressed with how pretty some of these shades are like this is better in person than I was expecting it to be easy peasy over here is looking delightful that one I think may be the center of the next look this is a Morphe M433 and I'm gonna go into this yellow shade Amalfi and I'm just gonna use this as a light wash of color over the lid very carefully because I have lash extensions on and they get in the way, frankly. But I have to say that I love them and I'm gonna keep doing them. These are like those tab ones that you do yourself. Dude, they take like five minutes and they're the best. I'm gonna take my Nala Smudger brush and go into the Cornflower Blue La Festa and I'm gonna pack this into the inner corner. Ooh, 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 uh-oh. This is darker than I was anticipating it to be. Got to adjust accordingly. Oh my gosh. Good. Grab a clean brush and blend the edge of that with a clean brush. Okay. Getting better already. I really love the shade of that though. Wow, wow, wow. Very pretty. As usual, ColourPop shadows blend so beautifully. 
Now this next product, I don't know if these are new from ColourPop, but they're new to me. I've never used them before. These are the shadow sticks. I bought three of them, the all three that came in the collection. I just didn't get the collection because it was like actually sold out. So I had to buy them individually. I tried them on the back of my hand earlier and it goes on like really shiny and slippery looking and then settles down and becomes completely matte. And I think like from what it looks like pretty long wearing because I can rub the shit out of this and it's not going anywhere. So interesting stuff this is the blue shade style and ease and i'm gonna use this to do a wing on the outer corner i'm gonna see when i put it on if i want to buff it in and make it like a blended wing or if we want it to be sharp i'm not sure yet but we're gonna start going directly in from the crayon see what i mean they're like very shiny and almost like vinyl -y looking but they don't dry that way from what i can tell I think I am gonna grab a little brush and just go over the edge of that and soften the edge on the top, but leave the bottom edge the way it is. These are really interesting pencils. Like, that's so weird. The way it goes on is really weird. Like, I think I like it, but it's definitely strange and interesting. Okay, ColourPop. It's always surprises me. I put down some concealer and powder. I already have the lash extensions on, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. I'm not gonna add extra lashes on top of this. For the waterline, I'm gonna use one of the other shadow sticks. This is the color Citrus Squeeze. It's a yellow one. And I'm just gonna pop that right through my waterline, bring some more of the yellow into the look. This looks like it has a little bit of a shimmer to it, does it? It does indeed. Like a gold, like a yellow gold. I'm gonna take my beige number seven and we're gonna go into this brown here, the grotto. This is more of like a warm, darker brown than we used in the crease. I'm just gonna use this to buff underneath the lower lashes and start to define the lower lash line a little bit. I was thinking about going back into La Festa, that blue shade, to do the bottom, but I kind of want it to stay in this shape we have going on the top because I think that makes it more interesting. So we're just gonna leave it there. And I'm also gonna take that same brush and dip into the shade Semi Fredo, and I'm gonna use that to define just on the inner portion where it meets with that blue to lighten it up a little bit because I still want that definition, but I wanna keep it a little bit on the brighter side so it doesn't take over the blue. And then I'm gonna go back, say the blue one more time, Nicole. I'm gonna go back into the blue and just use that wrapped around the lower portion of the inner corner just to blend it all together. All right, I just finished up my skin. I put on some cream blush. I added a couple of freckles. I put some mascara on. I'm already noticing, and I just have a funny feeling that the close-ups on this are gonna be very difficult to make it look good for the reason that I think that these shadow sticks, uh, maybe I don't love them. So the blue one, it's sitting okay, but it is a little bit patchy up close. And then the gold one that I put in the waterline it's kind of like moving off of my waterline already. Like it's still there, but like only around the edge, like where my lashes are. So mm, maybe not on these. I'm gonna keep you guys posted. I'm gonna try the third shade that I got. We'll decide at the end of the video. But as of right now, I'm not like super duper stoked on them. For the lips, I want to keep it very simple and very fresh because I feel like this is like so bright and fresh and summery. It's really making me want an Italian margarita. Maybe I'm gonna make those this weekend check back on my Instagram story to find out, but like most likely I'm gonna. For the lip, I really want this to be very pale and I think I want it to be matte. And I know this look is largely or almost completely matte, but like we're going for the whole thing matte today, I think. So I'm gonna grab the ColourPop Osis lip pencil and I'm gonna line with this and just kind of buff it in toward the center. And then I'm gonna go over that with the Luxe Velvet Lipstick Cream, whatever the fuck these are, in the color Ingenue, which is a very, very pale pinkish nude on me. And this is the first look. For the second look, I think we're gonna stay within the brown, but I wanna feature this duo chrome shade Easy Peasy. So I'm gonna start by blending out my crease with the color Semi Fredo. I'm just gonna work that through the crease and create a little bit of a flick at the end. Next, I'm gonna take the shadow stick in the color Check Please, and I'm gonna draw over my whole lid with this and use it as a base for the other shadows. Hopefully we like it this way. That color's a lot lighter 
on the lid than I was expecting it to be. I do really like it. I think it's very pretty kind of like terracotta. And if it sits nicely on my lid, I could see myself using that color just kind of on a day-to-day -day basis. It's not really giving me the base I thought it was going to, but I think it's okay. This one seems to be a bit more opaque than the others so far, which is good because the other ones were a little bit difficult to get even. I'm just gonna take a clean brush and blend the edge of that into the crease shade. On a MAC 221 brush, I'm gonna go into the shade The Grotto and I'm gonna work that through the crease as well. I'm gonna use that to create a little bit of depth and blend that pencil into the crease color that we put down and continue that little flick that we did at the end. And I'm gonna bring that up from the corner of the eye out to meet the end of that flick, start creating a little bit of a wing shape, but very softly. I made it an executive decision because I like this lid color so much and it's also not dark enough to do what I thought that it was gonna do. I was gonna put easy peasy over the lid with this like brownish shade as a base, but what we're gonna do instead is use that color as an inner corner highlight so we still get this pretty terracotta matte lid going on because frankly, I wanna wear this, I like this. So I'm gonna grab my Luxie 111 mini brush and I'm gonna go into easy peasy and I'm gonna just pack that on my inner corner instead of putting it over my whole lid. And you know what? I'm glad I did that because now I just put that shade down and frankly, it's disappointing. And therefore, I'm glad it's in a smaller space. I'm just gonna blend the edge of that with the brush we used to put those terracotta shades down. I do like this look though. Mm, mm, <laughs> I like this palette actually, to be honest with you. I, I mean, I wish Easy Peasy was a little bit more duochrome-y on my eyeball, but like, Everything's pretty good, man. Okay, I'm gonna take that same shadow stick and I'm gonna use it through my waterline. Since it's lighter, it'll be a pretty shade and also brighten things up a bit. So I think that actually works out quite well. I'm gonna take a Morphe M441 brush. I don't know why I'm using so many Morphe brushes today. Probably because I need to clean my other brushes. So I'm like resorting to them, you know? I'm gonna go back into Semi Fredo and I'm gonna use that to smoke out the lower lash line very softly and bring that up to meet the shape we did at the top. I'm gonna grab this little smudger brush from the Melt Beetlejuice collection and go into the grotto. I'm just gonna press that right along the lower lash line, concentrating it more on the outer half though. And now I'm gonna take this little detail brush from Tarte. I'm gonna go into the shade Vespa, which is a deep matte brown, and I'm just gonna press that right along the lower lash line, but only in the outer corner, and then blend it together with those other shades. I just want that little bit of definition underneath the lower lashes to help balance the top lashes. Okay, so I finished up my skin. I threw on a couple little freckles. I just put mascara on because we still got our lashes going. And for the lip, because this is so soft, I think I wanna do a matte bright red. So I'm gonna use my current favorite red combo. This is Ambrosia Lip Liner from Melt Cosmetics and also from Melt Cosmetics from the Beetlejuice Collection, the color Miss Argentina. It's very bright and matte and quite frankly delightful. And I think it's gonna be very pretty with this. And we are feeling spring-like and colorful, so we're going for it. And this is the second look. All right, so I have some thoughts on the matter. The palette itself, I think is lovely. It's a perfectly nice palette. I really enjoy that pop of blue. The color Easy Peasy is a little bit less reflective, a little bit less exciting than I was expecting it to be, but it's still a very nice shade. Generally speaking, I think I can see myself getting a lot of use out of this in the spring and summer months. The packaging, however, this looks like the tablecloth at my step Nona's house, and I don't like it. You know, it's fine for her house, but I don't want it on my makeup. I feel like they could have done something to make this a little bit more modern. Functionally though, it's just fine. Now the shadow sticks, I have some thoughts on those for sure. Citrus squeeze really just did not sit well on my waterline. I felt like it was wearing off moments after I put it on. Stylities was a little bit better. It worked okay, but I also felt like it was a little bit hard to make it completely opaque. And my wings looked a little bit like there was some patchiness in them if you looked really closely at them. The color itself though, I think is really cool. And I do like how creamy they go on and how blendable they are. And then they dry down really, really quickly. Like I think the formula in that sense is really good, but they could use a little work
work as far as how opaque they are. This one that I'm wearing today, what were you called again, my friend? Check please. Of the three, this one is my favorite one, but I have to say that the color that it is according to the end of the tube here is far darker than the color that it actually winds up being on your eyelid, which is fine actually because I like the color that it wound up being better. It's like a terracotta, almost peachy brown. But what it did do is fuck up my plan because I had plans to make this like a deeper base for other shades and it didn't work out that way. So if you are going to pick them up, you should just know that this one definitely looks a little bit lighter than you might expect it to. And the, the formula is maybe not my absolute favorite thing in the world, but it's not bad either. Well, I had a fun time diving back into doing makeup looks with this. So overall, I would say it's a win. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you picked this up, if you wanna pick it up. Do you have no interest in it? Are you like over makeup right now? Because I feel like a lot of people are. Whatever your thoughts on the matter are, I would love to hear it. Don't forget about the new merch, it's down below. Take a look, pick something up if you like it. If you don't, no hard feelings, we're good there, it's totally fine. Subscribe if you're new because I'd love to have you around. Come find me on Instagram, I'm at Ms. Quinface over there. You get a lot of stuff over there that you don't get here, so don't want you to miss out. I think that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I appreciate each and every one of you hanging out with me and talking about makeup today, and I will see you in the next one.